Hey, it's Neil Anthony here again in the home version of the Herbert's Boots in Western World Live Lounge. Joining me, Tyler Joe Miller, man. What's going on, dude? Hey, how's it going? Ah, living the life right now, man. Hanging out at home and do, doing my show from home. So it's uh, it's an interesting time. Yeah, living the dream. Get to yeah, work oh, well, you see, man, I'm living the dream. I got my Barbie dream house right here hanging out oh, in the yeah. back. And yeah, so, you know, everything's good. <laughs> yeah, I get a little playtime, too. That's great. Yeah, enjoying the playtime and everything. Uh, I'm going to say congratulations to you, man. All the success. Pillow talk and blowing up the charts. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's been crazy. It's a wild ride, that's for sure. <laughs> like, I think you're sitting at, not, you're in top five as of today. Yeah, yeah, something like that. That's what I hear. <laughs> so, I mean, for to this is your first single that's out, and, like, to get that kind of success... It's kind of rare. Yeah. I mean, it's it's funny because, you know, people sort of said, you know, what what's that sort of like? How seen it climb so fast and kind of like, I don't have anything to compare it to. <laughs> this is my what? first song out. So I'm like, I don't know. I, I wish all songs went like this. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a horseshoe up my butt or maybe, you know, the the song. I mean, when we took it, it I just knew that it was so damn good that you know we we had to say yes to take it because i didn't write on it but uh it was one of those songs that it was like no matter who's doing this this song has to be a hit so uh we're just glad that everybody else heard it the same way we did <laughs> yeah honestly when, like when we hear the the songs leading up because you were the iheart radio future star with this song and yeah. when we're listening to these songs it's like man that is a killer track oh thanks appreciate it like, and I, I'll admit, I'm kind of a music snob when it comes to, like, stuff. I'm, I, I'm very picky, but this song, like, yeah. I don't know. There's, it, it's, it's a catchy song. It puts you in a good mood. And obviously, it's, it's resonating with everybody. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, the, I guess we just found a lane that nobody else was driving in at this point. And so, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I don't want to switch out anytime soon. So, we, uh, I think I think pillow talking is just it it was a good you know we were trying to choose songs for which which ones we wanted to put out first and pillow talking there was just no question this was my foot in the door song this is the one that we had to put out and uh yeah it's just crazy to see the support that everybody's given it and when we found out the about the iHeart thing I was like what the hell like <laughs> I'm the new guy on the block how did I get this it was crazy well but I could be more to... grateful so many artists out there you know trying to achieve this and you're you're just you're blowing a lot of them out of the water right now that's <laughs> i don't even know what to say to that right. stuff i'm just like i i guess so cool but like I, it's it's sweet because like there's you know when i when i wanted to to you know jump into the country industry because i used to just play for other people just as a guitarist or mandolin backup vocals band right. whatever they needed and do my own thing it was kind of like I was jumping into a a a big uh, big pond with a lot of big fish, and so it's like you know there's a lot of great artists in Canada, and so for me to be able to uh, you know start making waves uh, this this early and this fast and this big, it's been uh, man I'm just I'm just grateful over anything. It's just kind of one of those moments where it's like what the hell's going on? But I'm not gonna right. question it. <laughs> Honestly, man, like this is we have this is our first time talking to each other. We haven't met. We like this is the first time we've yeah. actually interacted with each other. And it, man, I can just I the look on your face, and I I can just tell how humble and but also in shock you are of everything that's happening right now. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly shock. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. I appreciate that. It's uh, yeah. I mean, I'm uh, you know, there's there's been talks of sort of um you know like this is crazy how fast it's moved trying to figure out you know who's done this before sort okay. of thing and uh it's kind of like man i'm i'm here to make music not history i you know i, I just want to make good tunes and put out really great music and hopefully people are going to like it um you know one well, thing that i told for stations one for one so you're you're good right now <laughs> yeah that 100 percent <laughs> success rate so far <laughs> but uh you know going when i was doing the the radio tour i was kind of telling a lot of the stations um you know like it's it's it was before my song was even out yet and so right. uh, i kind of said you know like it's it's going to be cool if people add my song to the station but like if you don't add my song it's not going to break my heart 
you know, as long as I put up good music and I'm proud of what I did, uh, like that's, that's fine. It's my, my win's not about, um, how many streams or how much airplay it's, it's about like actually relating to people and, and bringing people together with music and, and that sort of thing. So it's, um, yeah, a lot of people seem to have rallied around it. And so I'm like, well, this is good too. <laughs> so, but, but I do, I love that you have that attitude, like that it's as long as you like the song, then it it's okay. Because yeah. there's so many great songs out there that don't get airplay. And, you know, you can listen. It might be one of your songs down the line. And we're like, man, why didn't this song hit radio? Why didn't this song come out to radio? And there's right. so many of those songs out there that you just... Pe People want to hear. I get it all the time. Hey, can you play this song? Nah, they never released that to radio or that artist doesn't release to radio. There's so many artists that right. do that. Yeah. So it's, it's, yeah. And, and a, another big important thing for me is, is uh, as <laughs> lame and old as it can sound, you know, like staying true to yourself and, and, and what my brand is. Um, uh, a good friend of mine, one, a guy that I write with, um, said to he was introducing me to somebody and he goes oh yeah this is tyler joe miller uh he's got it was before any of my music was out but the way they introduced me was he goes i like this guy because he doesn't do bs you know right. he, he doesn't just take songs on that you know maybe this is hit maybe this is what's hot right now um and i kind of i really took that to heart because i was like man i don't want to do bs i'm censoring it um <laughs> i was like <laughs> i was like i don't want to do bs i want to do you know what's me and what i right. love and you know the music i grew up on was was 90s country and that's the lane that i think i'm always going to be in you know modern 90s, 90s country kind of right. feel but uh yeah i, I want to do what i love not just necessarily what's going to make a number one or, or get on the radio i yeah. would rather be happy with what i do as a musician uh, then hear myself on the radio and go, yeah, I didn't really like that one. You and know, I, that's way more important to me. I, well, and that, I think that's going to be your biggest success right there is staying true to yourself and not mm. being like, yeah, if I take this song, maybe it'll go number one, but I don't want to yeah. ever play it again. <laughs> like, yeah, no, totally. There's gotta be so many artists out there that have songs that are like, Oh, I just hate playing this song, but everybody <laughs> loves it. And it's like, why did yeah. I ever record this? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to get stuck in that position. I mean, you, I mean, if you could find a way to capitalize on baby shark because nobody took copyright. Yeah. I mean, that, <laughs> that, that would take you, you, you just have all the money in the world after that. <laughs> That's true. I think <laughs> you should coin that one. Uh, I wish I could. I, w I wish I could. I'd just be like, nah, you're not musical at all. So there's no way you did this song. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got like a Barbie playhouse in your room, though. It's like it's kind of your brand now. Yeah, I, I, I just I just I just <laughs> rent a room here. It's it's overrun by a four year old and, and, and other women. So it's just yeah, I'm just yeah. here. <laughs> love it yeah you're just the roommate at this point <laughs> pretty much pretty much I, don't, I i have a little a little three foot corner that that i can put my stuff that's about it yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a lot of room <laughs> that, that is a little, it, basically my computer desk is mine that's it that yeah. that's the room i get. uh while we were touching on history you may make history with pillow talking though uh, a lot of people don't know this uh because you're an independent artist with an independent label. And if Pillow Talking goes number one, it'd be the first time an independent artist from an independent label went number one with their debut single. That's pretty crazy. That's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah. You're like, holy what? crap, is all I really can say. What the hell? It's censored again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to do a lot of stuff. I've had a few. Uh, I'm definitely new to the the interview or like this kind of process because I've right. had a few of them where I'll say something and be like, "Oh yeah, you can edit that out, right?" And they'll be like, "Oh, we're live." I'm like, "Oh, good." <laughs> yeah, yeah. As long as yeah. you're not on the radio, if you slip up and say something, it's not that big yeah. a deal. It's uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Once you're there, that's a completely different story. These things you. You can kind of be a little more candid, and if it slips in, yeah. it slips out. Whatever, it, it, it's yeah. fine. Uh, yeah, that's me. But yeah, well, that's, that's so I cool love, to hear. That's crazy. Yeah, that. Well, when I read that, I was like, wow, that that that's like 
in all the years of songs being on radio and all this, this could be the first time. It that that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Well, it's and even if we fall short, like man, I'm just happy with how far we've gotten. Like this is crazy already that it's even top five. But man, if we could if we could make that push and be able to do that, like man, that'd be pretty damn cool too. <laughs> I was like, man, I got my fingers crossed for you. I really hope it happens. Uh, Thank you. I mean, I know we're stuck in this this craziness right now, but what's what's the bigger picture for you, like for Tyler Joe Miller, for the rest of 2020? Obviously, Pillow Talking doing its thing. Are we going to have an EP full-length album out sometime this year that, uh, you know, we can get more music? Yeah, we, uh, you know, after this after this run with Pillow Talking is done, um, it looks like we've got a new one coming out pretty soon. So I believe in... The start of summer, I think June or something like that, I think we're putting out a uh, a new song uh, called I Would Be Over Me Too. And I'm really stoked about that one because actually Pillow Talking came out of that songwriting session that we wrote this next one. Um, I was writing with, uh, her name's Kelly Archer, just unreal writer in Nashville. And um, we, we wrote the song I Would Be Over Me Too. And then at the end of the writing session, she goes, hey, uh, I... I like your voice. I like your style, what you're doing. Um, I've got this song called Pillow Talk, and I think that you should hear it. So she plays it, and I was just like, holy crap. This yeah. is mine. <laughs> you know? And so, uh, yeah, it was one of those songs that it was like, yep, we need this one. This is this is mine. I need to take it. And, uh, yeah, and so it actually came out of that other song, which now I guess we're putting it out uh, as the second. Um, I think I'm allowed to say that. If not, uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited for this this next one. Um, I think it kind of channels more of the 90s country in me. Uh, it's a bit more of a, yeah, it, it, it's a bit more of a faster one. And so uh, I'm excited for that. And then uh, it looks like we're probably putting out an EP uh, this year. So, That'll be nice. We'll have, uh, yeah, a few more songs that people can actually start listening to instead of listening to Pillow Talking over and over again. (laughs) Amazing, man. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing all that. Honestly, when this is all said and done, uh, looking forward to sitting down, maybe have a couple cold drinks and uh, talk music, man, and whatever. Absolutely. I'd love that. That'd be great. Well, dude, you take care of yourself. Good luck with pillow talking. I got my fingers crossed. And uh, honestly, we're it's going to be in the next couple of weeks. We're going to find out if this hits number one. So, man, all the best. And thanks for taking time out of your day. Man, thank you so much. Appreciate it.